Don't you love it when you can have an honest relationship with a movie? This movie doesn't lie to you. It doesn't pretend to be anything it's not. It doesn't try to have a message, no moral to the story. There's barely a story. It gives you what it promises. The trailers are pretty on the nose. It says, hey, this is action. This is violence. This is crank. Jason Statham is Chev Chelios, and this is the day he dies. Not spoiling, that's what the trailer says. My name is Chev Chelios, and today is the day that I die. See? He wakes up and discovers he's been poisoned. Why? Doesn't matter. The poison is a special Chinese concoction, meaning... And that's killing him slowly. I just fucking killed you. I did the same thing when they canceled Agent Carter. So Chelios has to keep his adrenaline up with increasingly dangerous acts. He picks fights with other gangsters, taking a variety of drugs, and he steals a police officer's motorcycle, and driving his car through a shopping mall. He basically goes GTA in real life. So let's go get the bitch. He also has a girlfriend named Eve, played by Amy Smart. She's a laid-back stoner and a total polar opposite to Chelios. She has no idea that he's a contract killer. Now Chelios has to protect Eve while trying to stay alive. In the closest thing to an emotional arc this movie offers, Chelios tells her the truth about his profession, and he was willing to give it up to be with her. I kill people. Aww. Before things get too sappy, he has public sex with Eve. Who says romance is dead? What follows are more fights, shootouts, and craziness. He puts Eve someplace safe and advances to the next level. Chelios also starts a gang war and goes after Verona himself. This leads to a fight in a helicopter. After some struggle, Chelios manages to pull Verona out of the helicopter and while midair, chokes a bitch. But this looks like it for our hero. While falling, Chelios calls Eve on his cell phone to apologize for not coming back. Hey doll. Looks like I lay you down again. It's actually a little sad. And this is gonna hurt. Chelios finally comes to a rest. Is he dead? What do you think? Yes, they made a sequel. Chelios is an unstoppable machine, fueled by rage and adrenaline. I know I talked about superhuman movie heroes that kill the drama, but even with all the fighting, survival, and mayhem, he's still dying. What's more human than that? But it kind of fits in with this hyperactive reality. Eve is a supportive girlfriend who even helps out. The relationship is actually pretty sweet. Direction is frantic and fast-paced. At times, it's so mean-spirited and over-the-top, I can't help but laugh. God, what does that say about me? The entire movie plays like a video game. The metaphor isn't lost on the opening credits. He plays a level, gets power-ups, health kits, and goes on to the next level. And it is non-stop. Even in the more quieter scenes, there's still plenty of attitude. And there's plenty of cartoony, over-the-top violence. So don't hate on the turn-your-brain-off type of movies. They have a place. I like to watch this on the couch with a bag of pork rinds and a Dr. Pepper. That was Crank. Three out of five. If you like this review, feel free to give a thumbs up, subscribe, you know you want to. This is the newbie, thanks for watching.